today's classroom book a day we actually have two classroom book a days today so i will go ahead and read our first one it is called penguins written by kathleen wiener zofield hmm. penguins oh so cute Penguins waddle across ice and snow on their short legs. <laughs> How cute. They flop on their bellies and slide. They gather on shore or on big chunks of ice. They jump into the ocean. Take a closer look. Close up of an emperor penguin's wing. Penguins are birds, but you will never see them flying in the air. Penguins have strong, flat wings. They use their wings to swim through the sea. Stiff tails and big, webbed feet help them steer. There are many different types of penguins. The largest is the emperor. Emperor. Emperors can grow as tall as a six-year-old child. What? The smallest penguin is called the fairy or little blue. Ooh, my favorite color. Little blues stand just a little higher than your knee. I love that little blue has a little blue head. How cute. Penguins live only in the southern half of the world, so that's on the lower half. Some types live far south in the frozen lands of Antarctica. Here's Antarctica down here. Here's where we are, right here in Missouri. And there's Antarctica. All penguins live in places where the ocean water stays cold all year long. Hmm. Do you think penguins would do okay in Missouri? Hmm. I don't think so. Penguins have a thick coat of small, shiny feathers. These feathers seal out the cold water and keep the birds warm and dry. For extra warmth, penguins have a layer of fat called blubber under their skin. Penguins dive underwater to hunt for fish or tiny creatures called krill. Penguins leap up out of the water to breathe. Could you imagine seeing that? Although they spend most of their lives in the sea, all penguins come onto land or ice to lay their eggs. An area where many penguins lay their eggs is called a rookery. Some types of penguins build nests of stones and pebbles on the ground. Oh, how cute. Sitting in his little nest, her little nest. Some penguins dig holes in the ground for their nests. Others, like the big emperors, make no nests at all. Emperors gather together on the ice. After the mother penguins lay their eggs, they are tired and hungry. They must go back to the sea to feed. The father penguins stay behind. Each one holds its egg carefully on its feet. Look at that, and it's a little, there's a little diagram post, or pointing to where the egg is. How sweet is that? The father penguins huddle close to one another for warmth. They stay together, 
even through terrible snowstorms. They must keep their eggs warm for many weeks. When the eggs finally hatch, the fathers keep the chicks tucked up against their snug brood patches. Look at those babies! I guess we can call them chicks. Look at those chicks! The mothers soon return from the ocean. Their bellies are full of krill. Hmm. What were krill? Ah, creatures that swim in the ocean that penguins eat. They pass the krill up from their bellies to feed their new babies. In a few weeks, the chicks have grown a warm coat of downy feathers. Look at how soft and fluffy. Oh. Penguin parents take turns feeding their fluffy chicks and protecting them. When a chick's parents are both away, it can huddle with other chicks. One or two adults stay nearby to babysit. Of course. <laughs> How sweet! After a few months, the large youngsters begin to lose their downy feathers. When their waterproof adult feathers have grown in, they will be able to take their first swim. They will catch their first fish and krill. The new penguins are ready for their lifetime home, the sea. Love it. And there's our glossary with all of the new vocab words we learned today. All right, guys, thanks for watching our classroom book a day number one. Be ready for number two.